Paul, tell me about this corn. Uh, okay. How it's, long has it been present for? I've had it for about seven or eight years, and I've been continuously going to Fidel to have it removed. But it just keeps on growing back. In recent times, it's grown back faster than... Um, uh, Instead of being, you know, 12 weeks, it's now back at after about eight weeks. So I'm having to go more often to Fidel to uh, get it cleaned up. Gotcha. And, Paul, can you stand on the ground for me, just so we can see the position of that toe? That's clean. That's clean, yeah. Yeah, that's clean. Okay. Boys, what do you want to tell me about that toe and why we're getting the corn there? Uh, it's, it's in an adductor varus position. So mm -hmm. you get a lot of um, plantar lateral pressure mm -hmm. causing that corn to develop. Yep. So if we have a look at it from the top, you can see the angulation of the nail compared to the other toes. So the treatment for this is obviously to get Paul off that corner and we are going to derotate. We're going to derotate the toe so it's pointing like that. So he will end up weight bearing on this part of the toe rather than the side. So we're going to rotate it like this. We're going to rotate it like that by doing a phalangeal osteotomy and then stabilizing the toe in that correct position. The corn itself, I don't even really need to touch the corn because once the the toe is in a rectus position like that believe it or not that just falls off all on its own all right i was gonna ask you to clean it up anyway but i am i will clean yeah. it up anyway <laughs> yeah fantastic thank you we'll see you in there okay just going through the assessment of the toe alignment before we go into the surgical section i've crudely drawn in the three phalanges of the toe uh, you can see that the majority of the varus rotation is actually occurring at the distal interphalangeal joint. When it's occurring at the distal interphalangeal joint, um, I make the osteotomy at the intermediate phalanx. If the uh, deformity was further back at the proximal interphalangeal joint, the osteotomy would, ma would be made at the proximal phalanx.
Let's put track again and see what looks like. Yeah. Right, we'll grab some of the angles. Mm -hmm. I'll just see the corners now. Mm -hmm. 